to the domain sites that I have here. Uh, in Lion, you'll go to the Go menu. If you hold down the Option key, you will then be able to see the, the library in, in Lion. They hid the library from the user. So to otherwise get to that, you would uh, click on the Home and then go to Library Application Support. So the only difference in Lion is, is that you have to find it. It's been hidden from you. So you would go into Application Support. And then that's where you'll find iWeb. And that's where you find the domain file. So what I've done is I've just, if you hold down the Option key, you'll get a little plus sign, and that'll copy that to the desktop. Now I'm not going to, well, I can keep both files. Well, that didn't copy, my code just moved stuff. So if you option, it should give you a copy. And there we go. I want to make sure that it copies it so that way you have that, that you can default back to. Now, since I'm running Lion, I have to, I might be able to double click that since that was the last one opened. So now that I have the, the domain site here on my desktop, I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to duplicate one more. For my purposes, I'm just going to call this demo123. If you click on that, you should be able to rename that. This is where you would want to change that to your, to whatever the name of your website is. Okay, now I have my three sites here on the side. So this first one is the first one. So I'm going to click on site two and delete it. Click on site and delete it. No, nope. delete. And then I'm going to save. Now, this is just the one website, so now I can close this. And now if I open that again, it should be just that one website. There it is, just the one website. So I can close this, and I'm gonna open up the demo site too. Since I'm running Lion, I have to use this little application support tool to open up multiple domains. Uh, it's another fluke in Lion, if you're still using uh, iWeb in Lion. But I have this little tool on, on my website, posted in another video link that I'll post the link to it again in this video. So I'm gonna choose domain. Desktop. desktop I'm gonna go demo two. open and in this one since this is the second site I'm going to click on the first site and delete it in the 
third site and delete it. And then save it. Now I'm just doing Command S on the keyboard, but you can also go File Save. Either way. And now this one should be just the one website, which is the second site. indeed just the second site and then the same thing with the third choose domain one will be demo three. Open. And demo three, we are going to delete site two and site one, leaving us with just the third site. And I'm going to File, save, and then I can close out, and there we go. Now you have three sites that have, that are just, uh, each are the one site, and I can quick look that. And that's how you separate a domain file.